And it's fitting that uh, as we're about to celebrate our 130th uh, anniversary of formal relations with Romania, that uh, we're sending a, a Romanian American uh, back to Romania at a time when, uh, unlike when his grandparents left, uh, there's a reason to be proud to go back. Uh, after the falling, uh, after the wall fell and communism collapsed, uh, Romania stepped up to the ball and uh, has emerged from its communist past, uh, has become a close valued ally. Many of you in this room have probably been to Romania, but it's a magnificently beautiful country. And it's about to get two beautiful people uh, as the U.S. representatives. You know, the Romanians are serving with U.S. forces in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Kosovo. We're cooperating closely in a whole myriad of areas that uh, uh, make it an appropriate time uh, for Martin and Libby Hitchstein to head to Romania. It was Romanian problem, and you know, as an Irishman, it immediately came to mind. Uh, <laughs> but there, there is a Romanian proverb. It says, the cheapest article is advice, most valuable is a good example. We are sending Romania the best example of what America stands for that we can possibly send. I realize I am personally prejudiced, but I also know Mark and Libby and their family well. I know them intimately. And they are exactly what everything we say we stand for. Uh, they represent it all. They are decent, they're honorable, loyal, and they're accomplished. They're devoted to their family. Mark has been a devoted father, remains a devoted son, and is, uh, from my selfish perspective, a, uh, um, a friend that uh, I've relied on for the past uh, uh, 33 years, almost 35 years. And when I say rely on, I don't just mean his, uh, his intellect and his judgment and wisdom. I relied on him in times of crisis, both uh, personal and political. And every single solitary time, he stood there with me, and he invented a sound and worthwhile advice. We've been through some battles together. Um, Mark is uh, not only well educated, when he came to the Senate, I stole from Sam Irvin, and, and it may have been the worst thing that ever happened to him. He became chief counsel of the Judiciary Committee. Uh, the Supreme Court would look differently and not as good uh, uh, were it not for Mark Gipstein and his leadership and the work uh, nominated fight. Uh, he went on to have a distinguished legal career in the private sector, but he never, never, never uh, uh, left behind his notion of public service. Even while uh, in the public sector, I constantly, not just me, but other members of our community, constantly relied on Mark. Mark put in hours upon hours of help, advice, free advice, and counsel on every important issue we face. And, uh, but uh, as I said, Romania is going to get an example of what uh, uh, it is to be a really fine son, good father, and uh, a loyal mayor. I state your name. I'm Mark You solemnly swear. You solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. But I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. But I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. But I take this obligation for you. But I take this obligation for you. Without mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Without mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And I, that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties. The office on which I'm about to enter. So help me God.
me it is a great privilege to serve as the personal representative of the President of the United States. To charge A. Dikinski and my new friends in Romania and in honor of my Romanian grandparents, I would also point out she originale a casa la originale belle, la locarelle de unde opetlaia, un secolale trecute, un luci che strabiluci mele in America. Lord, lei a tu catum aich un amaju de re monestinza. On the off chance I'm saying. My great grandparents, Louis and Celia Braylau of Braylau and Yash. To my great grand, to my grandmother Rose Braylau, and especially to my father, Seymour Gillis. At 94, he still lives in my hometown. I saw him the weekend before last, and the essential quality I see in him, I see in those who live in Romania today. A tough, resilient, determined people who have been through a lot, but who have never lost their sense of humor and their love of life. The story of Romania in the last two decades is a remarkable one. From a Soviet satellite to one of our most loyal and dependable allies, from a paralyzed, state-dominated market to the fastest growing economy in Europe before the worldwide recession hit late last year. As allies, Romanians don't simply spout empty rhetoric, but have shed their blood with our GIs in the most dangerous precincts of Afghanistan and Iraq. In the words of Shakespeare, he who sheds his blood with me shall be my brother. I've been given very clear instructions going forward to strengthen and deepen this alliance, to help Romanians to recover from this recession primarily by increasing U.S. trade and investment with Romania, which will mean, at least in part, increasing transparency, the rule of law, regulatory, and fiscal reform, and to broaden and energize the commitment to tolerance and the rights of minorities that we already see from courageous leaders like President Cessna. This will be a daunting challenge, but I have powerful models to emulate. Working for you for 13 years, Mr. Vice President, I learned the value of pragmatic idealism, the importance of honesty, and to speak truth to power. From my father, always do the very best you can. And from the President we all serve, the clear and unequivocal direction, listen, learn, and lead. Because there is no challenge we or the Romanians face that is too big for the kind of partnership we seek to build. A partnership of genuine, mutual respect. Mr. Vice President, last month in Ukraine, you spoke for all of us when you said, we seek a world in which like-minded nations make common cause of our common challenges. The stronger our partners, the more effective our partnerships. If we do this, and I have every confidence that you, President Obama, and Secretary Clinton will show us now, if we do this, to paraphrase my favorite book of the Bible, the book of Micah, nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. But they shall sit, every man under his mind and under his victory, and none shall make them afraid. Yes, we can. <laughs> Thank you so much for giving me and my incredible wife, Libby, the opportunity to play some small part in this cause and to serve our country. Pray for us. Pray for us.